In my 20s, I started with art. I was asked to a coffee afternoon and they were doing porcelain and that's why I started with porcelain on glazed painting. And I loved it. I really loved the medium. It takes a long time to do, but it's very interesting. And in 2005, I then moved to just do some painting as well, which um, developed my skills and I started exhibiting um, porcelain at that stage. Porcelain on glaze painting is becoming a lost art because back in the 1700s, ladies used to sit around and decorate their china and their dinner sets. And nowadays people like to buy things, so they're not sitting and decorating. The Royal Daltons and the Worcester type plates, which Grandma had as a dinner set, were all hand painted. The process that I use in making my pots is quite drawn out and can take up to two weeks to do. First of all, we get the clay and we mix it into a slip, which is a liquid form, and that then is poured into a mould. Once the clay is dried in the mould sufficiently, we take it out. Once it's taken out, we can then model the clay and carve the clay and let it dry, which can take several days to do. After that, we put it into the kiln and fire it for the first time at its highest temperature, which is around 1200 degrees. After that, firing is a glaze firing, which is slightly reduced at temperature down to 1000 degrees. After those firings, we go ahead and we paint on the porcelain with various products and each product has to have a different firing so that they are layered onto the piece. So those firings can be quite extensive, six firings to 10 firings. A usual piece will have no less than six firings and my uh, most extensive firing that I've done on a piece of porcelain is 22 firings. I have produced a dress that has been modelled and shaped into a bodice of a dress with some other decoration, which was a bit of a challenge that I took up when somebody wanted to include me in a fashion parade. There's quite a variety of things that you can, you can pour and shape. 